Last week, I posted a reel about most PTs don't know how to correct gait. Wow, the Taiwanese PT community really came after me hard. So I decided to put my claim to test. I ran a quick survey and a small field study. First, I reached out to several PT friends and asked them directly what they thought about that statement. Result? Five out of six agreed. Here's what they said. I think maybe some can identify incorrect patterns, but I also don't think all PTs or PTAs analyze gait as much as they should. No, I don't think most PTs know how to, at least properly. We learn how to learn about PT, so we have the knowledge to go to a class and learn this stuff and have a good basis of understanding, but we need that extra place to go learn it. Probably not. I would hope that most PTs can identify gait dysfunction and then perform follow-up tests to identify deficits, so yes. Short answer, no. Long answer, I think gait is one of the most confusing things we learn in school, and I don't think they do a good job of it. I think we can help correct some things, but I don't think we necessarily have the time or consistency to do it all. I think it definitely depends on the clinician. I see gait assessment as a whole body assessment, and I think so many PTs just still think of individual body parts. Now you might say, well, of course, they're Alice's friends. Of course, they think like her. Fair point. So I took it a step further. I went out and did street interviews, asking random people about their experiences with physical therapy, specifically whether anyone ever checked their gait during treatment. And here's what I found. I did have physical therapy for a few months, yeah. I was there for my like pelvic floor after giving birth. And when you were there, did they check on your gait? Like your walk walking pattern? I don't think they did. Okay. That actually would have been really interesting, yeah. I've had mm -hmm. groin injuries in the past where I've had to do exercises to help re-strengthen the muscle and okay. give back uh, blanks off here. Gotcha. And then when you had physical therapy, did they check on your gait at all? My, my gait? Yeah, your walking pattern. Oh, uh, no. The, they never, the physical therapist never checks my walking pattern. Yes, I'm currently in physical therapy. I tore my ACL meniscus skiing. Did your therapist check on your gait? Yeah, that was something that she worked with a lot, especially right after mm -hmm. uh, the surgery when I was able to like start putting weight on my leg. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a lot of problems with my gait, and mm -hmm. yeah, she checked on that a lot. I had a uh, torn ACL, which I had surgically repaired, and so then I went to physical therapy for that. When you were in therapy, did your therapist check on your gait? No. Uh, shoulder injury. Did they check on your gait? Um, no. Four out of the five people I interviewed said their gait was never checked during their physical therapy visits. You can believe whatever you want, but facts are facts. When someone points out a problem and try to fix it, the response shouldn't be to attack the messenger. Instead, maybe it's time to reflect on why this problem wasn't addressed earlier, and whether you might be also contributing to it.